Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you uh, my workflow for creating low poly guns in Blender. This is mostly so you can use this workflow to create guns for our FPS game since creating uh, tutorials on how to create every gun would be a bit too long and unnecessary. So you can follow these six steps to create any gun you want and for our FPS game tutorial uh, I will be creating four guns, a pistol, a shotgun, a assault rifle and a sniper rifle. So I suggest you make those two. First out of six steps is blocking out the model. Now at this stage I will find the reference image and then take a cube and just start modeling from the cube by using transform tools like uh, G for uh, grab, R to rotate, E to extrude, S to scale. And of course I'm going to be doing all of those in front orthographic view most of the time. At this stage I will probably also apply a mirror modifier and also turn on clipping just so I don't have to worry about the other side. Make sure when you're getting that reference image that it's not rotated or, any or anything. Make sure that it's a nice side view of the gun. Don't model any uh, details, just block out like the silhouette of the gun and make sure you model some parts uh, separately if you maybe want them to move when you shoot for example on this gun I wanted the top part to move when I shoot so I created a separate object for the top part. The second step is smoothing out the basic shape so what I mean by this uh, you probably now have a very rough and boxy looking gun what you'll do now is add some loop cuts with control R and drag them to almost to the edge and then take the edge and basically move it so it looks more smoothed out something like this now you can do this all over the gun but make sure you don't do too much because then it won't look good next step I like to do is adding the attachments what I mean by this is adding all the separate objects, maybe the magazine, the trigger, the barrel, and maybe if you do want attachments like adding scopes, sights, grips, and so on. Now, as I already said, make sure you model these as separate objects, maybe because when we make the rig, maybe you want to move them using the rig. The fourth step is adding one side details. What I mean by this is for example, this Glock that I was modeling only has the barrel port or the part where the bullets come out when you shoot on one side. So what I did is I applied the mirror modifier and added that detail only on one side. But the fifth part or the fifth step is adding colors using materials or you can use UV unwrapping. Now of course UV unwrapping is much better and much more optimized but it's also harder and since this is a beginner's, tuto beginner's series um, you can use just materials and it will work fine. I like to use two to three materials just to add some variation and on pistols and smaller guns you probably are um, good with only two materials. You can assign materials in uh, edit mode and we've done this a million times before so it shouldn't, do, it shouldn't be too hard. The last step is rigging and weight painting the gun. Now this is much simpler than rigging for example a character. And you of course have uh, much less bones than uh, in a character. I typically go for around 3-4 to four bones depending on what kind of gun I'm making. Now you don't have to make a rig if you don't want uh, shooting animations and reloading animations but I always recommend you have those. For example I will create one bone for the body of the gun or like the main bone and then I will extrude from it and create the bone to control the top part of the gun and also one for the magazine here. And then in weight paint mode, select the bone and make sure the part you want to move is all red. Good tool to use here is the mask tool because in mask tool you can press L while hovering over a separate object um, to select it and then you can press H to hide it and then it's much more simpler to apply the weight paint. Also you can press Alt H to unhide. This part is uh, a bit uh, tricky but I'm sure you can figure it out. Now in the future I'm going to upload speed modeling of uh, the four guns that I'm going to be making. The four guns I chose. And hopefully you enjoyed those and you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe and also go follow me on my social media. Or you can go support me on Patreon, that'd be very nice of you. 
and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.